Tuesday, welcome back to the vlog. I haven't talked to you guys in a little while. I've missed you so much. I'm currently cooking some lunch. It's hard to talk while there's like chicken sizzling behind me. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. The chicken is off the stove. It is quiet again. I feel like I was screaming. Hi guys. Okay, so I haven't talked to you in a little while. First of all, I just want to say, in case you guys missed the last vlog that I uploaded, it was me having a pretty honest conversation about just how I've been dealing with my PCOS and my birth control and my weight gain. And I just want to say, first of all, all. Thank you guys so so much for all of the love and support on that video because I was seriously overwhelmed I had so many wonderful people in my life that I know personally reach out to me who I didn't even know they watched my videos And they reached out and they were so sweet I had so many amazing people reach out with different resources like specific doctors that they go to for their PCOS And I just I didn't even realize that that many people in my life also dealt with it So that was so cool to see and I just felt so much support from them and from you guys So I just want to say thank you so so much I appreciate it endlessly. But yeah, over the weekend, I didn't really pick up the vlog camera too much because Kaylee was here to visit. We recorded an episode of Pretty Basic together and we just had a fun best friend weekend together because we really needed it. We've both been going through our own stuff and it was so much fun. So that episode with Kaylee will be out next week. You know, we just dove into like past friendships that we've had, toxic friendships, just like funny stories that we have together. And it was really fun. We did get a couple clips while she was here though. We tried to do like a little brunch thing for Cal and it was really cute. So I'll put those clips in now. Today is a very special day. We are going to be doing a fun, I like how you just <laughs> smile at me. I'm so excited. Kaylee's always been a little nervous on camera ever since uh, ninth grade, but what are we making this morning? Eggs Benedict, bagel Benedict, if you will. We are. So fun fact, we're making Eggs Benedict, which is our favorite food ever. That's my mine and Kaylee's favorite brunch food ever since the beginning of time. But randomly enough, we were having a conversation with Cal on Friday night, and he was talking, oh wait, no, this is how it became a thing. I supported my friend's business, which I will link you guys down below. It's called State of Mind. They have the cutest clothes ever, and they're from North Carolina. I met them at Playlist Live in like 20, 13 or so 2014 so I've been buds with them for so long and they sent me some clothes and then they also sent me this little Seasoning right here and in the card they said ask Cal about this seasoning He'll know which fun fact a lot of people think that Cal is from Minnesota which or Wisconsin because he really likes the Packers. He is not he's actually born and raised in North Carolina, but his dad is from Minnesota, Wisconsin, so that's why they live there now so Fun fact, everybody thinks he's from there, he's not, but that's why we went there for Christmas. Apparently Bojangles is a very big, like a fast food place in the South, and this stuff is amazing. Kaylee and I tried it for the first time. So it's like Lowry's, but better, and you put it on french fries apparently. We put it on our potatoes the other night, so good. So while we were talking about Bojangles, he was talking about how there was one specific thing at Bojangles that he misses so much, and it's called the Bowberry Biscuit which I guess is like a biscuit with blueberries in it. So we decided that we were gonna be the best friends ever. Girlfriends ever. Friends. Best friends. <laughs> I was, to, I was ca counting for both of us. Best gals ever, and we're gonna make him some Bowberry Biscuits today because we found a recipe online. So, shout out Bojangles. And then on top of that, obviously we need breakfast, so we're making a delicious bagel Benedict because we're not really big fans of egg, what are they called? Uh, the muffins? Yeah, English muffins. Mm. So we're doing a little alliteration this morning. We've got Bagel Benedict and Bowberry Biscuits. Yay! <laughs> and we thought we'd do it cooking with Ram and K, so let's get started. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, took the sunglasses off, and this is rough, but okay, we're gonna start by making the biscuits because they take a bit longer. And I don't think the bagel Benny will take too long. I woke up, woke up so hungover to a text from Kaylee in all caps, Eggs Benny. So um, it's time. I want it's time. Now. I almost cooked without you. Oh my god. You gotta scream it for the vlog. Listen to this guy. <laughs> Three cups self-rising flour. Well, here's sugar. Okay, that's <laughs> not what I asked for, but okay. I just had to explain to everybody that you're from the South and not from Minnesota. North Carolina. Baby. Born right. Baby. Not born, but raised. Oh, where were you born? Where were you born? Texas. Oh, Texas. I knew that. Is that self-rising flour? I mean, it's all purpose, and I feel like Self-rising is no. in all? No. Are they two different things? Yeah. yeah. Your I, battery's about to die. 
On the camera? Yeah. Oh, shit. Alright, guys. The camera died, so we had to make the biscuit dough off camera. Don't worry. We messed it up like five times. But we're left with this. Hopefully, it tastes good. We will leave the recipe down below if you guys want. It's actually pretty easy if you do it correctly, but we did it. She's shading. Was... She's shading me. That's perfect. Yes. There we go. Okay. Oh, my God. So cute, Don't though. So. <gasps> what? I don't know what three-fourths of an inch is. Good? That's really good so far. Yay! Okay, we made the biscuits. They look gorgeous. We're gonna put them into the oven now. This one's the big daddy one, so we'll give that one to Cal. But, <laughs> there we go, okay. Into the oven for 15 minutes. And then we brush with butter. And then we make the glaze to top. And, Bagel Benny time! <laughs> All right, the Bowberry biscuits are in the oven. We're making some poached eggs to put on top of our eggs Benny. Look at how pretty these egg yolks Oh my are. god, they're gorgeous. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Okay, we've got some lemon juice. Kay's making the hollandaise. I'm gonna attempt to poach those eggs and the biscuits are looking amazing. Check this out. Oh la la. They're a little flat, but that's okay. You know, it's like my butt. They're gonna be so yummy. They're gonna be delicious. Oh my god. Our biscuits are out. They look beautiful. Now I brush the top with some butter. <gasps> they definitely could have been a little thicker, but like that one right there is perfect. This one's a big boy. The, the rest still look beautiful. Will you hold this while I brush the butter, Kay? Oh my goodness. Delicious. Look at that beautiful do, sheen. Do you hear that sizzle? ASMR. Sizzle. Oof. Get that B-roll footage. Good job. Know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mmm. I'm making hollandaise sauce. I lost it. Where's my sauce? Oh, there it is. All right, our food is done. Not a green on the plate. It looks but we, incredible. Does it look like a Bojangles Bowberry biscuit? Oh, it looks like a Bojangles Bowberry biscuit. Woo! Okay, wait, I want to get the reaction. Mmm, that's really good. We did it! <laughs> that's really good. Just as good? Mm-hmm. Yeah! Okay, we're back. So, as I said, it's Tuesday. I just finished working out and I'm feeling really good. I'm making myself some lunch. So I'm gonna make that and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I made a chicken sandwich with some grilled chicken on my gluten-free toast. Oh my God, she's falling, she's falling. With onions, tomatoes, lettuce, a little bit of honey mustard, a little bit of Primal Kitchen mayo, and then a plum on the side. Delicious, we've got my water. A nice view, gorgeous. Let's eat. Hi guys, we got some work done and now we're gonna go grocery shopping in a little bit because we are running low on groceries. But before we go, I wanted to do a little PR haul for you guys because we have so many things to unbox that I've been waiting to share with you. So let's get to it. Let me grab them. Is this an okay spot? Sure, okay, BRB, one second. Oh wait, I think this is the spot. Let me move the paper towels. Oh, so much better here, okay. Okay, let's start over, BRB. Okay guys, this is way better. I should have gone to my normal spot. So, I have a bunch of PR packages and things here, as I said, we're gonna go through them. First up, I just wanna share, I picked up a few little pieces. Oh wait, no, I have everything here. I talked about it already in those few clips with Kaylee. I just forgot my best friend's name. My friends, shout out to Ali and Netta for sending me the Bojangles seasoning. Would you like to talk about Bojangles for a second, sir? Legendary Southern Fried Chicken cuisine. That was the best six word sentence ever. So as I said, my amazing friends sent me some delicious seasoning from North Carolina and then I also purchased some stuff from their website. So I wanted to just share with you guys because they have the cutest stuff. Cal and my one year anniversary is coming up very soon and I wanted to wear one of these for our anniversary. So here we go. Their website and shop is called State of Mind. I will leave it linked down below. If I forget, please remind me. But this is the first dress here. It is so Pretty, I love this like beautiful tie-dye color. Also, I texted them before, they said that this one does not stretch, so to size up if you are like in between sizes. But it's so beautiful, it has these cute little straps at the top, which I love, everything is adjustable. The top has these little bows here, and then also, as you can see, it looks like a maxi, but you can also tie up the sides and make it into like a mini dress, which is really cute. They're like tapered on the sides like that, like the ruched. So, you get two dresses in one, like that. So cute. So that's the first piece that 
that I got. Next up, I got this cute little set. It's a little tank top that looks like this. It's got a little rosette on the front, which is so adorable. And then it also has a matching little cardigan over. I love this little cardigan trend with the single little button. You can wear this like alone, you can wear them together, whatever you wish. Next up, I got this dress as well, which anything with daisies, obviously I'm a sucker for. So this is so adorable. It's got the ruching again down the front and the sides. What I love about the ruching is that also it's really great for everybody because if you're tall, obviously you probably have longer legs or a longer torso and you just want the dress to be longer. So you can control that. And then if you're a short gal like myself and you like things a little bit shorter so they don't make you look even shorter than you are, then it's great. So love this super cute and then last but not least they threw this in the box for me i just thought this was so pretty again it's got the little flowers it's this cute top and then i don't know if you can see it's like smocked so it's stretchy and then has a cutout in the front which is adorable you can wear this with some like white jeans some blue denim whatever love to see it all right so that's from state of mind again big shout out to them next up i talked about how i am going to see an endocrinologist regarding my pcos and i'm very excited and do you guys know doug the pug do you know who doug the pug is yeah. Doug the Pug, big fan. His owner messaged me and she's so sweet and she told me to get this book called In the Flow. So to anybody out there, if you guys are watching this and you also deal with PCOS or maybe you have trouble with your period, just like hormone activities, just anything regarding hormones, I feel like this book might be good for you as well. I'm gonna give it a read. I'll keep you guys updated with everything. Whoa, the back says, discover the science behind the optimal timing for going out versus staying in, salads versus sweet potato fries, cardio versus yoga, Yoga, giving a presentation versus answering emails, playing with the kids versus me time, don't have kids, playing with Daisy, or cuddling versus a quickie, which I didn't know there was optimal timing for any of these things, but I guess I'll figure out what she says. Next up, this one arrived today, and I haven't opened it yet, so we can open it together, but it is from Wildflower Cases, which you guys know, I love wildflowers so, so much, but they're so sweet, and they sent over some cases. I love them too, I just threw those down. I especially love them too, because their packaging is adorable. They sent me this super cute little note, as well as they always have the cutest stickers, which I just realized this whole counter is wet, and I'm getting everything wet. <laughs> there we go, it's dry, we got cute little stickers, in there check them out the little strawberries so adorable so love their packaging I love when especially small businesses just go like above and beyond I appreciate it so much I so wish they made my case that I designed with them in the size for my phone unfortunately they don't make it so I can't have it but oh this is cool all right we've got this mirror one which you can see what you guys are sitting on oh my god wait this is so sick Eli had a mirror one for the longest time and I thought it was so cool here's this so you guys can see where you're sitting that's so cool all right we got the mirrored one and then oh my god cute here we go it's a cute little pastel plaid one love that that's amazing thank you so much to them so excited moving on i got a pr package oh babe can you get me the gymshark bag by the front i forgot about the gymshark bag i got another pr package i gotta share with you guys you guys i am so excited about this this is from my wonderful friend Susie b fitness which you guys know i love that queen i love her band they are incredible. I've never received a PR package like this from her and I'm so excited. This is her summer collection. I'm sure by the time that I'm posting this, they have already fully sold out, but I love Susie. She's an amazing person, such an inspirational businesswoman, and I just love her bands as we know. So she sent me this, thank you so much, babe. Mm -hmm. She sent me this amazing PR box, which her whole collection is under the sea themed, which you guys all know how me this is. Ooh, let me pose for a thumbnail. Obviously the box is adorable, but I love all the attention to detail it's just so personalized which is so sweet first up there is this like little netting because again under the sea then we've got a towel with my name on it I've never had my name on a towel before we are doing big things here we've got little seashells and sea stars they're sea stars not starfish people little stickers there's like a sticker oh yes look at her here's a sticker of Susie and Winston so cute and then of course we've got the bands which are incredible we have this band here which is a light medium and it's this really pretty I'll open them all for you guys a really pretty like purple pink tie-dye love that this one is the medium heavy band which is so cute it's got like all these little under the sea creatures there's like dolphins and whales and all that other stuff on there sharks you guys her medium heavy bands are so strong I guess it's seriously so hard for me to work with them sometimes like they're amazing but I'm not strong enough to work with them but the quality of these is bomb if you can get your hands on them I know that they go so quickly then 
we have her long bands, which are so gorgeous. Every time I take them out of the package, I can never put them back in again, but these are incredible for doing all sorts of different workouts. First of all, this blue tie-dye, are you kidding me? I want everything in my wardrobe to look like this. They're great to do back workouts, arm workouts, chest workouts, leg workouts, literally any sort of workout with a long band. And I learned that from her. And last but not least, there's this beautiful purple mermaid kind of like scale one. Look at that, it's so pretty. It reminds me of the TikToks where people are like 14 year olds now and they're all like really hot. And then 14 year old me playing mermaids with my friends, which was absolutely me. But yes, that is the amazing package that I got from Suzy Love. I'll be sure to link all of the sites that I'm talking about down below for you guys if you wanna check them out. Next up, we got a package from Alani New, which in this household, Alani New package PR days are like some of the best days in this house. We love Alani New. If you guys wanna support me, feel free to use code Remy, R E M I, at checkout and you guys will get free shipping on any order over $50. So feel free to use that at checkout if you guys like. You guys know I love the pre-workout. I seriously use it all the time. I'm getting back into having a protein shake for breakfast in the morning so I've been using the protein powder I love confetti cake it's my favorite and then also I love their energy drinks so that's what I have to show you guys today they completely redid their packaging which is so exciting it was already really cute before but now it's even cuter and along with all the new packaging they also dropped a new flavor look at this package it's so cute it says that new new gotta flip it the right way nope this way <laughs> that new new how adorable seriously look at this package that i received i screamed oh man they moved around again okay let me put them back let's try that again dun, 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 dun. Look how beautiful they are. So these are the five flavors. We have Cosmic Stardust, we have Hawaiian Shave Ice, Tropical Mimosa, and the new flavor, which is Watermelon Wave. We gotta try the new flavor. Look at these. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Nice. Nice. We love Alani New. Cal honestly even drinks them more than I do. Yeah, they're nice. They're so good. They're good. Honestly, if you want to mix it in with some vodka as a mixed drink, they're pretty good. Have you done it with tequila? No. That'd be pretty good. Honestly, I can use one right now. That's perfect. We're going to do a taste test. So, I try my best to limit my caffeine intake every day because if I have too much, I get like really jittery, obviously. I like these because they don't make you jittery, but they just give you that energy you need. Sometimes I'll use it as a pre-workout for working out. I'll do it on days where I'm really tired and we have like a busy work day. Honestly, I go like on and off with coffee and matcha. I feel like I just go through waves of everything and currently I am in an Alani New Energy Drink wave. So we've been doing these, but I wanna try the new flavor, which is watermelon wave. Dun, dun, dun. I wish they were cold. I should have prepped for this, but that's okay. Also, there's a package here of all of the uh, new packaging. Tropical's personally my favorite to date so far. What's your favorite so far? I like the Tropical too. Do you like that flavor? Tropical's so good. It tastes like a big stick. Like you remember those pops schools growing up that are like big yellow red cherry pineapple ones it's delicious Ooh, is it good very summery i don't really like watermelon as we know i'm getting better but it's good Ooh. Pretty good. Oh my God. It tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, which I love oh, artificial yeah. watermelon, so I like this. It's kind of sour, yeah. which I like too. Usually they're like very, very sweet, but that one has like a nice little like sour yeah. kick to it. It's like all kinds of different stuff in it. It's not just watermelon. Oh, is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Does I mean, it say? I mean, look at the little pictures. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah. Oh. All right, now I would like to rank my flavors. I would rank Tropical first, Watermelon Wave, that'd be really good cold. Have you tried Cosmic Stardust yet? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, then I'd rate Mimosa. I really like the Mimosa one. I'm not really that into Mimosa's IRL, but the Mimosa energy drink is bomb. Then Cosmic Stardust. I'm personally not a fan of the Hawaiian Shave Ice one because it tastes like Malibu rum to me. Because... I haven't had that one. Really? Yeah. Do you want to try it right now on camera? No. Okay. I don't want to open two Alani News. <laughs> Thank you, babe. If you like coconut, then it's for you. If you don't, or maybe you had some experiences with Malibu rum in uh, like college, <laughs> Flashbacks. Okay, next up from Starbucks, which this is perfect for Cal because Cal has coffee every day. I seriously go like in waves. Like last week was a matcha week. This week is an energy drink week. Next week will probably be a coffee week. We got this package here. Open it up, sir. Dun, 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 dun. Starbucks sent us some stuff. They came out with a new, yeah. came out with a new cold brew. I think it's a concentrated cold brew. Oh, it is, yeah. I love these concentrate products because then you don't have to buy them nearly as often and they take up less space in your fridge. So that's awesome. This is the cold brew concentrate. Oh, it's a caramel dolce flavor. Also, these are dairy free. The um, gal who sent these to me let me know, which was very nice of her. Smooth with creamy caramel notes. I'll try this tomorrow, actually. I'm feeling like coffee. So we got this one. Then also there is this, what are these? Oh my God! 
gosh. Wait, this is cool. Single serve concentrate packets. So you just add water to that, like on the go. Mm. That's actually really cool. It's like an instant coffee. Okay, then we've got these ones, which are signature black. So there's the caramel packets, there's the regular packets, and then the regular concentrate, which we like caramel here. So we'll try them all. And then down here, there is, oh my God, cool. Uh-oh. We got a vanilla syrup that slightly exploded, so we'll have to wash that off. This is a cool cup. Oh my God, cool cup. And then an ice tray to make fun and satisfying ice. Look at this ice maker, babe. That's gonna be so nice. good. Okay, so we got all those. Can't wait to try. If it weren't like 6 p.m., I'd have a cup of coffee right now. Like this sounds right. really good right now. <laughs> Last but not least, Gymshark sent me a package, which I didn't know they knew where I lived and I'm very honored because you know how I feel about Gymshark. They sent me this amazing package and it has this cute little like tag on it that says Miss Remy Ashton and says what's inside of here and I am so excited. Seriously, Cal, tell them how much I screamed when I opened this box. There's honey in here. Ooh, oh, there was honey? Honey in the Where was that? In the Starbucks thing. Oh, I missed it completely. Organic wildflower honey. What do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> Good. You gave me some laugh content for them to laugh at. They loved your laugh in the last vlog. Tell them how much I screamed when I got this package. Do you have no recollection? I mean, I could reenact it or I could say it was really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Good laugh. Okay. So it came in this cute bag, which I thought was really cool. And then inside they gave me a pair of Power Beat Pros, which I have these already in like a champagne color. I did a brand deal with Best Buy and they gave me these and they are incredible. Actually, Cal uses them a lot to work out. Do you like them, Cal? Mm -hmm. He loves them. These ones are pink, so love that. They're really good because they have that like back little loop so they don't fall out of your ear when you're running or anything. Next up, they sent me this glow recipe little bag, which is so cute. I love glow recipe stuff. Oh yeah, the lip pop is great. And I like the watermelon sleeping mask, which I don't know if it's in here. It's in like a little tub, but super cute. Okay, then we have the new Saul Lift Collection, which I've been seeing all my favorite people, Whitney Simmons, Nikki Blackader, Mariana, Ajazi, everyone talking about how great this is. So I felt so special to be included. And they sent me my favorite colors, pink and blue. So first up, we've got this top. This is the Soul Lift Sports Bra in Bleached Coral. I just have to say, I absolutely love, 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 love this cut. I love a racer back because it really holds the girls up. I like the slight cut in the cleavage area. So I think it's just really flattering. It's got these cute little like grommet holes things in the back and it's really nice and meshy. I feel like it's gonna be great to work out in. It's so soft. I've heard that these are like so buttery and they are. Then I got these little biker shorts. These are the Soul Lift shorts, again in bleached coral. You guys know how I feel about shorts. Love them. Also, do you see these little butt ruching? It's gonna make your butt look like uplifted, juicy. And then also it's got these little pockets on the side. So I don't normally wear biker shorts to the gym. I usually just wear them like under a shirt like this, but these little pockets look great. And I've actually been wanting to just run around the neighborhood and things, but I don't have a place to put my phone. So this is great. I can put my phone in my pocket or my keys or something and be able to be hands-free. So I'm excited to try that. And then they also sent me the Soul Lift leggings in spring blue. So these are the leggings version. Again, love the little butt ruching. That is so cute. And then it's got little side pockets again. There's two pockets, like one for your keys, one for your phone. Super soft. Oh, this is cute. Along the side of the leggings, there is uh, some little holes. And then the top right here is adorable. This is so nice. It's like a little crop top. This one is called the, I don't know, because the tag fell off. Oh wait, does it tell me? It's got that like, you know the Nike, what's that material called that like Nike uses or like you have for your shorts? Dry fit. Dry fit. That like dry fit material and it's super nice and breathable. I think I think this will be adorable together. Maybe a little color blocking action for, oh, that's cute for the summer. I do not have a Gymshark link, but if you guys want to support Whitney or Nikki, I'll leave like their links down below so you guys can shop through them and support them because I love them. So yeah, that is all the PR stuff that I received lately. Seriously, I am so grateful. Thank you so much for all these amazing brands for sending me things. And yeah, we're gonna go to the grocery store now, pick up some food and we're just having a chill night. We watched this movie called Palm Springs. Was that what it was called? Yeah. Palm Springs last night. It was on Hulu. It was really, really funny. It was the mom from How I Met Your Mother and Andy Samberg. Loved it. So tonight we're just gonna watch another movie probably. That's all we've been doing. So yeah. Okay. 
See you soon. Hello all, we are home from the grocery store. Yay! 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 Okay, I'm gonna do a quick haul for you guys. We just laid everything out, so let me show you what we got. All right, here is everything. Looks so good. We went to Gelson's, which has so many fun snacks and things. You guys know I love my snacks. So first up, we got two dozen eggs. Usually what I'll do is I'll hard boil an entire dozen, and then I just eat an egg for like a snack or something, or I'll put in like an egg salad, or put it on my avocado toast. So I like to have a dozen always hard boiled on stock. And then I just keep a dozen regular. We use it for like baking or just like sunny side up eggs, whatever. I got some shrimp here. I like to just have shrimp always in the freezer ready to go. So I just got shrimps, got lots of produce. As you can see, we have some living green leaf butter lettuce. This is amazing for sandwiches, really good for doing like a protein style burger. You guys know I love my burgers. We got some spring mix for salads. I have been obsessed with golden kiwis. My mom gave me some golden kiwis, like, I don't know, a couple months ago. I ate all of them in like a few days and I'm obsessed with them now. They're a little bit less tangy and sour than a green normal kiwi, so I love the sweet like mellowness of it. Got some dinosaur cow to have kale chips, and then also I like doing like a breakfast scramble with this. Hey queen, did you go potty? She's so little. We got some asparagus that's standing up straight. I got parsnips to make parsnip fries out of. It's like a delicious kind of alternative to potatoes. Got some tomatoes here. We had a few already, so just a few more because we use those like crazy. I am obsessed with papaya. I love specifically these little golden papayas. It's like a delicious single serving one. Of course, avocados. We always have avocados. I like to get a few that are like hard and green so it gives it time to ripen. And then a few that are definitely ready to go because I need some like every day, as you know. I got a few white peaches because I love white peaches. We got some cherry tomatoes, my favorite Rainier cherries. I'll eat this entire bag in one night. We got two heads of cauliflower. We're gonna do a cauliflower mash for dinner tonight, so that'll use one, and then I'll probably roast another one another night. Bananas for shakes. We got sweet potatoes, which are my favorite ever. Over here, we got some Grey Poupon. Dijon mustard, needed that, ran out. We also ran out of this. This is my favorite mayo, the Primal Kitchen mayo. So delicious. We got a couple zucchinis, cute and little zucchinis. This is what Cal's specifically most excited for. What is it, babe? Nando sauce. Nando sauce. It's like a spicy mayo. It's really, really good. Cal got some cream cheese. I got my little baby seedless cucumbers. These are so good with dips and on toast and literally anything. We got a pineapple because we've been having so much pineapple lately. It's delicious. And then over here, we just have a rotisserie chicken and then some snacks. So I recently saw a doctor and I have learned that I should try my best to go gluten-free and dairy-free, which I know. I sound like the most annoying LA person, but for actual health reasons, apparently gluten and dairy are both really bad for you if you have PCOS. So I'm gonna try my best to go gluten and dairy-free. I already pretty much do dairy free, but I often eat a lot of gluten. I love bread, I love pasta, of course. But luckily, out here in LA especially, but if you go to the grocery store, there's so many like gluten-free options and dairy-free options and things. So I don't think it'll be too hard. I've already been doing gluten-free bread for the past like month or so, just because I like the taste of it. But I found a few gluten-free, dairy-free snacks to have. So first up, I got, hold on, let me flip the camera. Also, I should mention, I'm gonna try my best. I'm not gonna be like too crazy with it. You know, I'm still gonna let myself have like the bowberry biscuit from time to time and whatever I wanna do from time to time. But I'm just gonna try my best just to control any sort of flare-ups. So please don't roast me for it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so for some fun snack options, I found these butternut squash crackers. They're a plant-based Parmesan flavor cracker. Honestly, I want a couple of these right now. I've tried the cauliflower version of these and they're amazing, so I wanted to try the butternut squash ones. I also found these. Actually, these Cal wanted these more than I did, but I'm gonna try them too because they're gluten-free, dairy-free. Sunny chocolatey sea salt. Apparently, it's made with oat flour and oat milk. You know how much I love my oat milk. So yeah. We'll try those out. Then I got these. These are the free to eat chocolate chip cookies and they looked amazing. They just look like they melt in your mouth, you know? Then I love these. These are the Popcorners Kettle Corn flavor. I got these one time on a flight and they were amazing and changed my life and I love them. So I got these. And then I also got some gluten-free just crackers to have, you know, with like a little snack. Maybe if I want some like turkey and vegetables or whatever. And then last but not least, these are Pop Chips Nutter Puffs. So my uncle's from Sweden and apparently there's like a similar snack to this out in Sweden that's like super popular. He loves them so much. And he said these are the most similar to the Swedish ones that he's found. So he likes these a lot. I wanted to give them a try. I think they're probably similar to those Bomba snacks that Trader Joe's has, but we're gonna cook dinner in a minute. Oh, I got some salmon too. We're gonna cook dinner. We're gonna do salmon, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower mash. But let's try this snack, shall we? Ooh, or do I want popcorners? What do I want? I want some popcorners. While we were at the store, Cal said he's never tried a popcorner before. Never even heard of them. Mmm. Whoa. Good, right? 
This is so good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many. I would eat this entire bag if I could. But what I like the kettle corn because they're like slightly a little sweet, you know? They have like a regular sea salt and then maybe like a ranch or something, but the kettle corn's my fave. This is just popcorn made into chips? I don't know what it is, but it's bomb. All right, guys, I chopped up the Brussels sprouts, put a little bit of olive oil on there, along with some garlic lava seasoning, some black pepper, and now I'm gonna put them in an oven at 425 for like 15, 20 minutes, and this should be Perfect. I gotta sneeze. Oh no. Oh my god, guys, look how beautiful these salmon fillets are. Usually, I don't put aluminum foil inside the air fryer. I only do it when we're cooking salmon because the skin sticks to the pan and it's so hard to scrub off. So this is the one and only time I'll put aluminum foil in there. All right, over here, I'm cutting up my cauliflower head. I'm going to cut the stem out and then I think I'm just gonna steam it in the microwave, honestly, and then you just blend it in a blender with some seasonings and that's cauliflower mashed potatoes. It's super easy, but so yummy. I put the cauliflower into the microwave for like nine minutes with some water till it's steamy. Oh, I did two cloves of garlic in the blender along with a little bit of milk. Milk of your choice. I choose, well I'm doing macadamia nut milk, but usually I do oat milk, but any milk works. Let's check on these. Cal just gave them a stir. Ooh, -hoo! they look beautiful. Oh, yeah. Our Brussels sprouts are done. Salmon is almost done. Now I'm gonna add some garlic salt to our cauliflower, as well as some pepper, and then add the lid, and then blend. <laughs> Wait, you gotta look at this. Thank you. Delicious cauliflower mashed potatoes. Mmm. Yum, kinda smells like ice cream. All right, guys, dinner is done. Side note, I do not like the macadamia nut milk really in anything, and especially not in savory foods. We learned that tonight. That's why it smelled like ice cream. I'm not a fan. Cal likes it, though, so he's gonna eat it. I just have my salmon, Brussels sprouts. The salmons they had were huge today, so we're just gonna eat whatever we can. Save the rest for leftovers. He's got his spicy yeah, mayo on it. <laughs> I'm gonna have some coconut aminos with mine, and we watch Community. All right, guys, dinner was so good. I ate, like, half the salmon, and I saved the other have to make a salmon salad tomorrow that's gonna be delicious. But for dessert, I'm having one of the white peaches and I'm gonna have some of this cocoa whip from So Delicious. This stuff tastes like Cool Whip, but better. Also, it doesn't even taste coconutty, which I love so much, but it's obviously dairy free. If I can get it open, hold on. All right, there you go. That's the texture. It's seriously so good. We've got like a peaches and cream little dessert going on. I'll do a couple spoonfuls of this with that and we're gonna watch a movie. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I just got my morning workout in. I woke up extra early because I have a doctor's appointment today, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Be sure to come back to the next one. It's gonna be a good one. Okay, bye. <laughs>